today. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, this is the National Football League. We'll see Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago where the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly as they get ready to match up with the New York Giants. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field and this will make it into the end zone and no run back here so they'll bring it out to the 25 the former number six overall pick of 2019 Daniel Jones trots out to lead this New York Giants offense and what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Now Saquon Barkley, a man who played collegiately here in the Keystone State. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. On second down, here's Barkley. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four yard run on first down. the draw this is Barkley and he'll push this forward only to about the 42 yard line it'll only be a gain of a yard and it sets up a third down at four now ladies and gentlemen that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position yes he's as big as they come but still plenty agile he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier from the gun on third down Jones. It's caught. Shepard. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jones and Shepard with a connection there for a Giants first down. So opening drive third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. 
and receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, the ball should be there, and then they can get to do some work afterwards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he's got this down to the 35. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. But well, one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Well, first down carry for Barkley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Jones on first down and Rudolph has it the tight end and he takes it down to the 10 yard line back to back nice gains that one for 14 yards and another first nice job there of utilizing his big target he didn't overthink it understands the catch radius understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup Jones now Throwing on first down. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Jones. Flushed out right, and here he'll get it down to the seven. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive gain. been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. From the gun, Jones. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. I know we spend a lot of time talking about how the defensive backs read routes and, and make plays on the football. How about a good linebacker feeling the route, seeing the quarterback, jumps the play, and knocks it away. Really well done. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Taken about seven yards deep, and he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and 
what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Hertz to throw. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He'll fire it deep for Rager. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt, not too shabby. And it'll be giant football first and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. The pro bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Jones. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Operating from the gun, Jones. Looking for his receiver, Sharp, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. is up and good to make it 7-3. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown.
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. A dangerous return man showing it here. Pass midfield, look out. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Here we go. Here we go. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. From the goal line all the way to the other goal line on that one, a full 100-yard return on the kickoff. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. Takes this about five yards deep. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> but first down, Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Second down, here's Hurts. This ball complete to Rager. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They go play action with Hertz. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. 
but you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a re And this is caught in the end zone by Jalen Rager. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Rager, 49 yards. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. And that one covering an even 63 yards in the air. Elliott on for the extra point. at 14-10. So the drive there took six plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Second down, Barkley, and he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. From the gun, Jones. And Ingram hauls it in. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a man in the third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. to the right here to Shepard. He's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun. Jones and his throw is going to be incomplete he was looking for Evan Ingram the tight end and it's second down just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver that's probably one he wishes he had back he wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes what 9.9 .9 times out of 10 just missed that one Jones throwing again that's complete to Slayton 
He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Five yards, now it's third and five. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a Giant first down on a gain of 16. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, Jones. This will be caught at about the six. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. First down, Giants. Jones to Ingram. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Barkley. And did he break the play? Yes, he did. Touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Giants are once again going to retake the lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Gano for the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. 
making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, ke keeping it away from danger, a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. And we'll see if they can disrupt it here. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll run, it's Sanders. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Rolling to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Well, that was something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or wide receiver, but that's your quarterback hitting top speed. And normally when you see guys moving this fast, it might be a fly pattern from a receiver or a toss sweep from a tailback or something like that. This was designed as a passing play, and then he got out of the pocket, and he just took off, and he just kept gaining momentum with every step. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he's gonna be brought down on what'll be the final play of this first quarter. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia and it's the Eagles in possession as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Throwing his hurts. Fighting his target, it's Ward. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Now this is going to to this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around eight to ten yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl round by Charles Davis. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And now running right through him. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Hurt sets up to throw it. 
On the move to his left. He may try and run for this. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the yeah, Giants' yeah, 19. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Well, looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run it with Johnson, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Punching it in from a yard away as his guys are able to regain the lead. And nothing special there. They showed they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight-ahead power, and they got it done. now to add the extra point. It's been good to make it 21-17. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the touchdown run came from Carrion Johnson to cap things off. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And New York set to take the field, and the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Here's Jones on first down. That's complete left side to Shepard. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Throw left side complete. That's Shepard. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. 
They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, but it'll be second down. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back one more time. Didn't work there. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for a second, but the daylight quickly snuffed out. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. The Giants on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun. Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ten yards. Good for a Giant first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Jones now. Throwing on first down. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Jones. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon Graham. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. So this has been a lot like a tennis match. As he back and forth, both these offenses have their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. From the gun, Jones. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. at the line this Philly offense set to go and they were good last time out with a touchdown drive this go around it's not going to be very easy starting from it and he's going to go down right near the goal line the official
officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Danny Shelton muscles his way in for the sack. Oh, boy, he got a favorable spot there. The guys on the sidelines are raising their hands over their head and clasping their hands to signal safety. But the official marked it just outside the end zone at the one-yard line. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. You gotta try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. Here comes Pettis on the return, muscling free near the 40. So that a 56-yard punt with a 14-yard return. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 45. He'll throw from the gun. Looking left sideline, incomplete. So the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. Now Jones to throw on third down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. Boy, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Here's Riley Dixon now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Right there. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
The big nose tackle, Danny Shelton, there to swallow him up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Hurts. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards in a first. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there, and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. On the draw, here's Sanders. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The Eagles on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and 16. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Some touchdowns on their first two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dukes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decided to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance. They're getting off the field. The Eagles send out their punter now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. On the return is Pettis. Pushing his way inside the 40. It'll go as a 50-yard punt. Six yards on the return. Kenny Galladay making his way back onto the field with the rest of this offense. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing Jones. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit. Just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. To throw again, Jones. 
Another throw for Galladay. This one complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Anytime you get those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. Jones on first and 10. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Saquon Barkley, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. He'll get this one to Galladay. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He made his first. This from 47 yards out. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that'll bring him back within a point. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. 
Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes, but right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll run it. He's got a first down and more past the 30. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Here's Hurts to throw. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Just a yard to go here on second down. Now back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Danny Shelton able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. Hurts fumbles it. And who's got it? The Giants! Flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys lead, though, by only a point. It's been a tight one. As for the start of the third quarter, we'll send it back 
to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Out to his left. He'll try and run it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Second down at four. Stepping up, he'll try and run. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield, and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Man, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. First down, Hurts. His throw incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. 
What's going on here? Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And yeah, the next-gen stat's going to show the final clocking there. He was taken down at just 1.9 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty fast. <laughs> on third down, he'll drop to throw steps away he may try and run for this and he's able to get this one down to the 40 yard line a nifty bit of scrambling there 12 yards first down as a rookie quarterback that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates give it up for the players it's also how you end up on the training table too yeah it's a catch 22 coach doesn't like it teammates love it where do you fall on it well i fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10, right at the 40. Here's Sanders. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work the run got four now they deal with a second and six now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end it's a gain of five on the play and they'll be faced with a third and inches Brandon perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Right back to Sanders on first down. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And he finds the tight end, Rodgers. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The tackle made by Blake Martinez. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll pull it down, and he'll be out of bounds. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down.
Now they'll throw here out of the gun to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. And on second and goal, they decide to throw it again, and this result is even worse. They take a sack. On first down, it was simply an incomplete pass. Not a good first two plays, beginning with first and goal. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Great work. Let's make it happen, baby. Let's make it happen. It's the grab. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. That it was kept up by an Eagles touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. From the gun, Jones. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no, incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again. Jones looking for Shepard deep. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. 
Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. This offense thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially the skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit. Let them catch their breath. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 44. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Second down, here's Hurts. He'll get this to Ward. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Now Sanders. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. Extra tight ends, extra beat, they want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. The Eagles send out their punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Now out come the Giants. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Again, it's Barkley, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Here's Jones on first down, looking deep downfield. And that's going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Second and 10 now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Off the play fake. Jones. And his throw here 
is incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver, and it's third down. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Jones now on third down. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he's got this down to the 35. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Operating from the gun, Jones. Open man right side is Ingram. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Barkley. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. I love one of the quotes that read about him where he said of himself. I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Now Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. And Barkley will try to punch it in. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Well, Brennan, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one that was denied as he tried to get the second one. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. Here's Barkley, and he is in. Touchdown, New York. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Jones throwing for it. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us.
So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your quarter? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? That's what he's done here in this one so far. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're either throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third corner of action. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Danny Shelton picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Oh this has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. 48, 48, 48, 48. Throwing his hurts. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 16 yards, a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, 
it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And that takes us from second to third down. to throw again looking left side he's got it complete and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line they stop him for only three that time and that'll bring up fourth down they didn't get the first down but i have to say i do like the call i like what they were trying to do try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up keep it on his feet get a little rack yardage yeah but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first and this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Wow. New York ready to go again offensively. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty, and now you wonder, will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post, and this thing could be over. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 42. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Looking sideline, incomplete. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Jones. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 17 yards and a Giant first down. But what talk about it like it's just a basic run. The timing on this one, right up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money, bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. down carry for Barkley and this winds up a pickup of two maybe two and a half to about the 39 watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you he did that very well you praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball took a great angle right there from the 39 Jones, he'll get this one to Galladay. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Jones. 
Jones. It's caught, Shepard. And he will have a Giants first down as they get five there on third and two. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. First down, Barkley, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Operating from the gun, Jones. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Now Jones to throw on third down. He's going to look deep down the field. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. But both teams practice this situation. And this time, the guys on offense won and in a very nice way. What a run from that position on their own goal line. Gave him some good breathing room. I wonder now, do you still stack the line of scrimmage or do you play normal defense? They may have backed him off with that run. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll go again with Sanders. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Rolling to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender. I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen. And instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. Here's Hurts to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Yeah. 
play action. Here's Hurts. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was pretty nice to watch as he matched the route with the receiver and stayed right there, stuck to him like glue. Almost hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. Helped force the incompletion. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. the draw. Here's Sanders. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Another run with Sanders. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. They begin with a run by Barkley. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. They'll go to Barkley again. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. to throw Jones they'll try and set up the screen it's complete and he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds a pickup of five that time and a first down that's just what you call a chain mover right there nothing fancy get the ball out to the back and you're asking him to make a little bit extra 
out of maybe what is nothing. And he does exactly that, picks up the first down. I can't wait till we get to the point, partner, where we're not saying chain mover, but we're saying laser pointer, picks it up for the first down. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, Jones. Open man is Galladay, complete. And he goes out right around the 39. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done, so now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before, and he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first. First and 10. Operating from the gun. Jones finds his tight end Ingram. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On the draw, this is Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Back to throw. Jones and Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Pretty heavy traffic over the middle on that one, and somehow he emerged with the football. Way to possess it, despite all the extra contact and people around him. Let's go. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Saquon Barkley. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. He was brought down by Eric Wilson. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. They'll run it again with Barkley. And some room to maneuver. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. 
Saquon Barkley, 29 yards. And the Giants have broken our ties. They take the lead. The escort deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Gano the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. Shut him down! Shut him down! Let's do this! Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by seven. Less than 90 seconds to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. screen it's complete and he'll go out near midfield at the 49 a good pick up there 26 yards like the design that we're seeing right there this is what they need down by touchdown here in the fourth they just need to keep working their way downfield and when they see openings take their shots So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. Back to throw. Dancing to his left. And he's going to keep it here. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. He's back to throw. On the move to his left. He may try and run for this. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride.
Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now he's forced out left, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Philly.